Today is take some dudes fishing. I am taking Tyler and his dad, Gord, my father-in-law here. We Old are Gord out fishing. We have a fish fry scheduled tonight. The name of the game is, can we get enough fish to feed everybody? We only have a few hours to do it. We're gonna see if it can happen. We're out on the water, early June, catching walleyes. Right now we're on humps. We might have to move to sand grass, we'll see. Stay tuned. So at the end of the game today at Sarah's Guide Services, we are doing uh, jigs and minnows. We're doing a couple different things. Tyler is gonna have a stand-up jig head with a fat head, cause I know it doesn't produce as much. And the stand head, stand-up jig head with the sucker. Gord is using a regular Northland Fireball jig head with a sucker minnow. So Gord and I are gonna dominate. Tyler? You got sucker minnow on Gord? Yeah. I sure do. That's ridiculous. That's walleye candy right there, Gord. Why do I always get the short end of the shaft? You know what I mean, Gord? Yeah, well that's how it is with guys and gals. That's, that's pretty spot on, Bob. Gord, give me your minnow back. I'm gonna switch you up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's catch fish here. Did you light your blunt gourd? Not yet. Do you need a lighter? I got a lighter. Oh, okay. Light him up. Get that stogie rocking. Oh, you're waiting for the first fish. There you go. That's a bite. Say, I think we got one. That a boy gourd? Gourd is on me? the board. Get the net. You think we need to net him? Well, I think, yeah. You know, my clients don't usually boss me around and tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Dad. Out on the edge of the rock. That's a decent right. fish, isn't it? It feels, looks decent. Feels like it's bouncing pretty nice. Oh, wow. Nicely. What is that, bud? That's a big eyeball. Yes, it is. Bring it right over here, Gord. Nice. And we're going to scoop that one right into the net, and we are on, on the, the board. board looking Yay. good. Nice job, Gord. That means we can light the stogies um, now. What did I tell you about walleye candy? Get the tape measure out. That is a good fish right there. We got to eat. Got to feed the fam. Hold him up there, Gord. Nice work. Northern Wisconsin walleye? Yes. Choked and on her. That is a nice one. And I feel I feel good that we got one in the boat, but the pressure's still on because we got a lot of people to feed. Let's measure this one up. Know the regulations at the lake you're fishing. Most of these lakes up here in northern Wisconsin have different regs than the statewide regs. So check the boards before you launch if you want to keep fish so you know what you can and cannot keep. That's good guide tips. Do you want a pliers? That would be nice. He's a keeper. Oh, look at that. We have a 19, 19. just over 19. Throw them in. Nice one gourd. That's a nice fish. Yeah, it is. What do you got to say about Sarah's guide service? Should throw them in the lake? <laughs> it's all about jokes. I will take him from you. Oop. Nice. Him? Do you want a picture, Gord? We'll get a picture later. Okay. So Tyler and I called up Eric and said, hey, can you put this patch on a rod for Gord? I think we got a few for Father's Day, if I remember correctly. But yeah, it was a present on the last time. Well, he's said, had so many birthdays, I don't remember. <laughs> and Eric said, you betcha. Caught a lot of fish. And the, the yellow and the black is the uh, symbol of the 1st Cavalry Division, of which I was a member of for 13 months in Korea back in 63 and 64. So just another shout out to Eric at Kramer Custom Rods. He can put whatever you want on your rods. Super cool. It is a cool stick. There you go, Gord. You're all set. All right. Sure. Thank you. You're welcome. So I'm not sold on the spot yet until I catch a fish. Oh, wow. Fair enough. You know, you all have those clients. I got one in the front of my boat. Oh, there we go. He knows everything. Fish. Look at that. The spot's awesome. <laughs> on a fat head too, babe. That was on a fat head. Yeah, this ain't a bad fish right here. Really, this is not a bad fish. Good. I'm going to pick up the camera, and uh, Sarah's guide service is going to let Tyler net his own fish here if he needs to net it. Gord, are you fishing? Yeah, it's out there. Just hand me the net behind you. Yeah. This didn't take long, hon. No, we've got Gord, boom, Tyler, boom. Yeah. 
Oh my goodness. This Can is you see really, the fish? This is a really, really nice walleye. I haven't seen it yet. I got way too much line out. What I got? There we go. Two fish in the boat. All right, look at that. The cousin. I don't know, Gord. I think I might have you, bud. That's another nice one. I might have you, guy. The judge is right behind you. Is it? Okay. So we can measure. And also when you're fishing with family, I guess competition is fierce. It is. Gordon and I are up on you. <laughs> he scrunched her down. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. We are set up on the deep side of a gravel hump. Uh, it's not, it's not a huge hump. It comes up, I don't know, seven feet That's from a nice the, fish. the depth, and uh, we're set up. the The wind is coming out of the north, so we are actually um, set up on the north side of that hump. And twenty on the wow. Head. And uh, Tyler and Gord are pitching out to the deep side, and I'm actually pitching out to the shallow side. So we'll see how it all goes. Fish. Tyler is on the board with number two. You know what? And I. I can't even imagine how he caught that fish because I didn't bait his hook for him. Yeah, fat head or sucker? Fat head, same one. Have you uh, gotten eyes on the eyeball yet? Yeah, it's a nice one. Another nice one? Yep. You should stay up in the front of the boat with the camera. You don't have to go to the back if I have one. So you can see. Whoa. Don't think he's going to make the cut. He's gonna be a slot fish? Yeah, but he's pretty. Look at that gold on him. Holy cow. I don't know. He's gonna be close. That is a nice one. It is a nice one. Free. Good job, guide Sarah. Thank you. This is nice. I don't have to do anything except catch fish. Woo hoo. Should we put him on here and take a gander? Well, let's take a gander. <laughs> Just shy. Just shy, yeah. Do you want me to get you releasing him? 17 and a half. Going back. You're not a very good camera person, that's for sure. One of the keys of the te techniques up here in northern Wisconsin is you need to be on the bottom. Those fish are coming up and sucking those minnows in off the bottom. If you are 10 feet off the bottom, they are not going to come up. They, most of these lakes in fish. northern Wisconsin, um, oh, Tyler's got another one, are heavily pressured and they know it, so they are not going to give you a lot of room You're right, I had for that. air. That was just dragging straight on the bottom, just barely moving it, bud. You know your stuff, lady. Thanks. Look at that fish. Isn't that awesome? I don't Look how know, pretty I can't that see is. the screen if I got the yeah, fish you're in on there. Yeah. They're pretty in that water. Yes, right? they are. In the top So much jaw. fun. Oop. I'm going to swing them in. I can get them. I can back up just a little bit here. There we go. Come on up, buddy. Yes, look at that. Northern Wisconsin walleyes, Gord. Is that fun or what? This is one of the greatest sports in America, catching walleyes, whether it's Northern Wisconsin, Minnesota, or Canada. I agree 100%, and it's probably one of the only sports right now that's going on in America. <laughs> it is, actually. <laughs> Look how white and pale that one that's is. That's a nice one. I'm going to guess that's a slot fish. Yeah, I'm going to guess that's a throwback. So it is his lucky day. But right. hey, let's get a picture before sure. you throw him back. Yep. yep. There we go. A nice? Yes. Finally. Sarah's on the board. Yeah, yeah. Sarah's on the board. Big forgot, fish, little forgot fish. what it felt like. Not huge. No? No. But he that's took a it. banger. He took it, just picked it up. Let him, I let him suck on it a little bit, and then when he started to uh, try to run the other way, I set the hook. That was it, huh? And that was the That's name of the game for this guy. Oh, yeah, I'm using a sucker. I'm using what works. I got stuck in my line there. Nice. Look at that. Walleye, walleye, walleye. Oh. You got one working? Yep. I can see it in your rod tip. Unleashed a oh, fury. Oh, oh. So you just drop her? Yep. He, Is he back. back. Yep. You guys can see my rod tip. That is, there we go, there we go. That was a, no! 
fish picking it up and he dropped it. He said no. When you're using the bigger sucker minnows, you gotta let them take it for a minute. Oh. Otherwise it's just short. Not with the fat heads. <laughs> yeah, not with the fat heads, that's true. Tyler's got another one. I don't wanna, I don't wanna abandon my, we got dubs. We got dubs? I said I don't wanna abandon my fish and he came up and just walloped it. Did he? Oh my gosh, this is a nice one. Whoa, I got a nice one. Do you? Yeah. You want the net? Here, let's put them together here, Bob. All right, you, can have a you just did a 360 with yours. Mine's staying down. I think mine's bigger. Maybe yours is bigger. I'm running the camera and trying to catch a fish. I'm double netting. All right, where are you at? I got a little bit of work to do yet here. Bring your fish in. Mine's staying down. I think mine probably chased it. Oh, yeah. I think mine chased it up when I was reeling in a little bit and chased it up and then just decided to give her a big old whack. Hungry, hungry. There's the wind. Here, do you want to hold the net and the, and I'll hold the camera? I got her. You ready? Yep, I'm ready. Look at that fish. Look at this. Double Dubs. net job. Gord, you got another one? We got three? No, not yet. <laughs> Sweet. Nice work, All right. Sarah. Thank you. That didn't take long. This is a nice one. Let's measure nice this walleye. one. So this is Tyler's. And he Eater. is over 18. We just got our limits. We got our limits. We got a great, I'm all sorts of wrapped up here. We got a great, um, a great stringer for our fish fry. So he's gonna go in the live well real quick here. And then I'll be back. We'll get the next one out. This is the second one. This is the second one out of the net there. I think this one's a little bit smaller. But I'm going to say he weighs more for oh my boy. own benefit there. <laughs> and uh, we're going to measure this one and see what oh, he is. What is he? He is. That's another keeper. Oh my gosh, it's another keeper. Nice work. Woohoo. Yeah. Yes, we're eating. another 18. I so think we could we feed. We have a delicious fish fry going on right awesome. now. Good work. Thank you. And then I think that's going to wrap us up for this week's episode of Inside Hook. Remember, if you are fishing smaller, shallower lakes up in these northern Wisconsin or even uh, northern Minnesota where there's a lot of pressure, that bait needs to be on the bottom. Slow retrievals, the suckers are what's working right now, walleye candy. Go support your local bait shops. Thanks for watching. Make sure you give us some thumbs up, subscribe, and we will see you soon.